election year, come on down, but five more shows to go. Back to just having a hip. Uh, now, Charlotte Ryan, she took to the streets of Wellington uh, and asked this question. Do you think you could be a politician? Do you have a clean slate? No. <laughs> Do you think you guys could be politicians? I mean, you're still quite young, but have you got a clean slate? Yes, I would like to be a politician. It sounds really cool. I wouldn't want to be. <laughs> I think that that's a really hard thing because um, I think that most people, you, you, you look back at something in your life and I'm sure someone can spin it in such a way. Is your slate clean? Oh, are you? I'm squeaky clean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have to wait for the public to, to decide that one, maybe. <laughs> Do you think politicians are targeted too much? You know, like, are we too harsh on them? Uh, we can be. I mean, sometimes simple mistakes can be made. Sure, there is a double standard around what's happened with Materia and what's happening with Winston. You can't uh, argue the facts on that, but I guess it comes down to disclosure, really. Yeah, I think there's always a bit of hype around um, election, you know, just trying to make, make news, I guess. Oh, political leaders are held to a higher account than, than Joe Citizen. Political leaders held to a higher account than Joe Citizen. Scandal, scandal, scandal. The roll call's amazing. Richard Worth. David Garrett, who else you got? Chris Carter. Uh, have you been involved in a scandal, Chris Bishop? Well, not yet. I'm only 33. Give me a chance. <laughs> um, so, I yeah, suppose not, when you started, as, not as far as I know. The, you <laughs> came, Define scandal. <laughs> well, you came from a tobacco background, so that was well, a bit of a scandal. Some people found that controversial. Yeah, if you want to call it that, then yeah. Denise Roche, you've kept pretty squeaky clean so far. Any sort of hidden skeletons or...? Yeah, probably, but I haven't been caught yet, so, um, you know. I don't know. God, I don't know. Look, it's great to have people who've got real backgrounds in Parliament. They're the ones that should be making the decisions because they've got some life experience and they've been places, you know. You need a range of people there, so I think, I think it's fine Chris, to have done I mean, one or two con Chris, Chris, transgressions. You, I mean, you went international uh, when you tried to bring down the Australian government. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, I mean, are we too hard on our politicians? I think we've got to accept that politicians are human beings as well, and they make mistakes, and it's, a, it's how you respond to the mistake that actually matters. All right. Hey, now before we get to uh, Peter Dunn about this, uh, we actually, because it's Peter's last show ever on this particular show, and he's been with us for many years, uh, we dug up a few things uh, from Beckham oh. over the years. Oh, great. Have a look, have great. a look, have a look. He's been an MP for Ohio since the mid-20th century. Please welcome the leader of United Future. Um, Oh, he's the man, Peter Dunn. Peter, welcome I to the was. show. I mean, you've got the Buddhist uh, yes, yes. vibe going on, but yes. there's, no, there's, no, there's no Buddhism love on your face. No, 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 that's, 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 that's really odd. We went into Peter Dunn's office for uh, peeping and peering. This is what we found out. What's your Pokemon avatar? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. I haven't actually got into Pokemon, to be perfectly honest. So how does it feel being part of the new government? Well, it's good, actually. It's working very well. It's open, it's inclusive, going well. I think that the days of cloth cap socialism are long beyond us. It would make my year if Peter Dunn planked <laughs> on top of the backbenchers table. <laughs> <laughs> on. And just seeing the place you grew up and know so well destroyed is very, very hard to take, and then knowing the tragedy behind it as well. My music collection is banished from home because it's, it's, it's very unusual. I think that the police need to focus on road safety rather than, dare I say it, speed enforcement. The two sometimes are different. <laughs> okay, speeding tickets. <laughs> I think More I, tickets. You know, I think he's self-interested. As Associate Health Minister, you emailed Don Brash warning of the dangers of cannabis, yes or no? No, I did not. Well, I actually took out a loan from a bank to get me through university, and I'm not sure what it would be in today's terms, but I repaid it within three years of graduating. All right, can you hold up your picture for Peter Dunn? Oh. 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 Peter? I bet you to it. I've signed it already. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, still... look at that. And it still goes. It still goes. I've, I've had that for 20-odd years. Why haven't you bought a new one? Because it hasn't broken. Round of applause, Peter Dunn. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, no. And in honour of and an honour of Peter Dunn, bring out the bong. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Just we've, joking. We've been there too. Yeah, just joking. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, the Winston Peters scandal. Mm. 
Is this a case of dirty politics? What do you make of it? Well, I, I just think we need to get to the bottom of what's actually gone on. What did, um, what, what's and, your and thoughts? I, and I'm not sure that we know. I mean, th th it's possible that there's a genuine error here. On the other hand, I saw David Farrer today pointing out that everyone who's in receipt of superannuation gets an annual letter from MSD asking them to confirm their circumstances and that he would have had seven such letters and presumably if there was an error, it should have been picked up early on. I don't know. I think there's a bigger issue actually about the no surprises policy. Uh, when I was Minister of Revenue, I would never have been told this sort of thing by officials. Really? Because the tax laws don't per permit it. I'm surprised in the heat of an election that ministers have been given this sort of information by officials, whatever Briefly, the circumstances. Briefly on the panel. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. What do you make of the Winston Peters saga at the moment, Chris? Oh, look, it's a matter for Winston Peters to explain uh, for himself. And where's, it coming, no where's this coming from? But, but the no surprises stuff is really concerning. Mm. Um, and the fact that he was surprised that ministers had been told is also concerning. At least if his information is going to be passed to government ministers, he at least had a right to know that Who's that was going it? to Who's happen. Who's behind this? Oh, who knows? Denise, who do you think's behind this? I don't know, but it's definitely really fishy. We're three weeks out from an, an election, so, you know, I have no idea, but Chris, it is Chris, are you behind it? <laughs> <laughs> well, who, no, who do you... No, seriously. Well, I can categorically rule yeah, that I, out, yeah. Yeah, but, 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 um, but what do you make of this issue, Chris? Oh, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know who, who did it, um, but I think ministers should not have been told. I agree yeah, with okay. Chris and Peter. I've, I've been an MP, or am an MP, obviously, and I've worked in ministers' offices. I, I was When I found out, and I read in the media that ministers have been told. I was astonished. Mm -hmm. It's just totally bizarre for, yeah. for chief executives to tell their ministers about a senior, one of the most senior MPs in, in the parliament. It's just totally bizarre. I just can't, I couldn't believe it. All right. What, what, many more questions, but we're running out of time. Stay with us. Quiz next. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.